Hey, today I'm gonna show you how to build high ticket offers for your sales team agency the same way I used to scale mine to 151k a month. I'll take your hand and walk you through the three levels of offers, how to stack upsells, and the AI integrations that you can sell, stuff that can add 5 to 10k a month per client. So let's get into it. So there are three levels of offers, but for clarity, Every offer that exists in the world, every offer that exists in the planet solves some kind of problem. So everything that you sell solves something. Everything that you sell solves some kind of problem. But the severity of that problem determines how easy it is to sell that offer, right? It's very simple. So it directly relates to the level of how painful the problem is that our offer or your offer is going to solve right and the more painful the problem is the easier it is to sell the offer okay now when talking with hundreds of freelancers and entrepreneurs in the AI and automation space most or i should say 99 percent think that you should be very very good at marketing sales copywriting in order for you to get to that 10 30 all the way to 50k a month with sales systems now these things definitely help right the truth is like they definitely help but if you take someone who sucks at marketing, okay, this is person A, they suck at marketing, they suck at sales, but they have a great offer. And you take another person and that person is really good at sales, marketing, etc. but they don't really have a good offer. Well, the first person is always going to make more money every single time. Okay. Now, if you guys don't know, I am friends with multiple successful people that are making even more than me, like millions and millions of dollars a month in multiple industries, such as manufacturing, some in the e-commerce space, some in the SaaS space where they sell a product. And I was having this conversation with them like a week ago, and we all agreed that there are three levels of offers. And I'm going to walk you guys through them right now. So the first offer is the must be nice offer. Okay, so these are offers that solve a problem that must be nice to have. Okay, you know, just nice to have. So the problem is not really a big deal. Okay, I can live without the solution. I could be chilling. I don't need that solution. For example, I have a paper cut. I'm not going to go to the hospital for a paper cut. I'll just use a Band-Aid. At least that's what I did as a kid. Uh, fun fact, when I was working as a bouncer, I actually got stabbed in the back. And uh, since I was poorer, I did not go to a hospital because I didn't have any money. And I remember the next day, I just went home, okay? And I remember the next day, my girlfriend was like, what are you doing? And then she took me to the hospital, but you know, good times. <laughs> but, uh, you know, these offers are must be nice, okay? So let's use this example in the AI automation space, what people are trying to sell. Uh, for example, an AI proposal generator. It's going to save you 30 minutes writing proposals. Okay, cool. We have an AI voice agent, okay? It's going to answer calls when you're busy, okay? And then you have this social media automation. Okay, it's going to post content automatically for you. But you can still live without these things. A business can still thrive and scale without these things. Okay, now let's talk about the second level of offers, which is the annoyance. Okay, it annoys the customer. But ultimately, the customer can live with it. Okay, it's okay at the end of the day, even if it still annoys me, but you know, I can cope. Now, it is easier to sell, of course, but not super easy. And you have to be really, really, really good at sales, marketing, or have like an insane social proof. Okay, for example, these are some examples like CRM organization, CRM build out, because it's going to keep your contacts organized. And also these generic email automations that you see most people are trying to sell on Fiverr or like Upwork. Now let's talk about the third level of offers, which is insomnia. Now, this literally means, hey, I can't sleep. The problem is literally keeping me awake at night. It's midnight and I'm looking at the ceiling and I need to fix this problem right now. Or my business is literally going to die. Now, you guys need to understand that the bulk of the million dollar offers, the things that actually make people rich are insomnia offers because they're the easiest to sell. And think, for example, sales systems, which is basically just getting the clients more customers every single month all using AI and automation, which is exactly what I focused on. Well, now that we understand the three levels of offers, well, obviously the most straightforward thing to do is basically just go ahead and build an insomnia offer because it's the obvious route. It solves a big problem and we can make a ton of money if we sell that offer, okay? 
Now, I'm going to walk you guys through the step-by-step -step offer building plus upselling that I use inside my 151k a month agency. So my advice for you guys is always start with the offer that makes the customer the most amount of money quickly and where they can see the value right away okay which is always going to be a money offer okay a money system a money automation something where the outcome is going to be clients leads revenue something they can touch okay then this is what I do. Then you can upsell later on AI slash integrations, which is exactly like I said, what I do. So again, my advice to you guys is always get yourself in the door with something tangible and then offer add-ons later on when it makes sense. So it's kind of like when a company has a core service, they focus on it. And then after that, if you notice, they try to upsell you with a bunch of bullshit, but somehow unconsciously, it doesn't seem salesy because they already solved the big problem the biggest problem which is the insomnia problem well now it's easier to sell it to you okay i'm gonna give you a couple examples which is the amazon model right we all know amazon well the core service that they have is basically cheap delivery so your package shows up tomorrow easily now their upsells are basically prime video okay watch movies Amazon Music, listen to music. Now, they upsell you to Alexa, talk to your house. Now, AWS, we host your internet. Groceries, get bananas in like two hours. Get a protein shake in like two hours. So what they do essentially is they hook you up with the delivery, which is, you know, the, the main offer or the core service. And then they stack on everything else. I'm going to give you another example. If you guys are familiar with Instantly, which is a cold email software. So they started off with the core service, which is essentially cold email automation. Okay. You can literally reach out to thousands of companies using their platform. Okay. But now check this out. There's like outreach, lead database, verification, inbox placement, even CRM. So from a cold email software, all the way to a CRM, all the way to now, like they're trying to upsell you for like an AI co-pilot. Now it's literally ChatGPT, but they didn't start with it. Because they already built a base and an audience and they built a customer base of people that love their products. And frankly, I love their products. But now they're trying to upsell us with all of these things. And somehow most of people that I know that are using instantly are paying for it and don't really care because they already got the value. They already solved the biggest problem, which was the core service that they provided early on. Okay. So now you might be thinking, Saad. Well, uh, how does it look like in practice? So step one is lead with the insomnia problem. What makes them money, which is basically a sales system, the same systems that we keep building this channel and the same systems that I show you guys, because they can measure success in dollars, not features, obviously. And by the way, this is copied from my exact proposal that I sent to clients. So you want to copy this too. A system that connects you with carefully selected prospects that have the pain and budget that your services slash product solves. If you notice, I'm leading with outcomes. Okay, I'm not leading with features because this is exactly what makes the sell easier. And this is the mistake that most people make is that they lead with the features. Okay, so I'm leading with the outcomes. Always lead with the outcomes. So same thing. We make your brand look good and your business dominant, making you money. See, if you notice, like most of these offers in the AI and automation space, it's all like, you know, uh, we're going to build a system that um, nurtures and then uses AI personalization. No, I lead with outcomes, which is the reason why I keep printing money, right? And most are stuck at like three to 5K because they only care about themselves. You know, you want to care about the customer, care about him and her, right? Or the business. So we make your brand look good and your business dominant. So I'm literally triggering the looking good, which is basically status and business dominance, which is essentially their egotistical hidden desires, which is basically looking dominant and crushing their entire competition, which is ultimately what they care about. And then in terms of the pricing, uh, you guys need to price it accordingly because they are literally impacting their bottom line. So I would go from like 2K minimum all the way to 8K a month. Okay. Just like I said, because it literally makes them money. Okay, step one. This is step two now. Upsell to the nice to haves later on. So now once the core system is working, well, now you can add upsells with AI and integrations, which is exactly what I do. In fact, let me walk you guys through. This is my client revenue dashboard of July 2025, which is, as you can see, I've made $151,000 total monthly contract and it's basically January 2026, total monthly, etc. You will notice here that the base retainers are 48K, campaign upsells 26K, and then automation builds is 40K, okay? So 
I upsell the automation build after I sell the first core service, which is base rate, AK a month. And then I have the upsells later on. So this is how it works in practice. So now what are some examples that you can sell? Well, these are the things that I actually sell to my clients. So an AI that replies to leads for them. For example, a bot that answers so you don't have to, which is typically, you can typically start pricing this from like 5k a month. And it's very, very easy to build. Actually, I built this some multiple times, like dozens of times. And usually you just have to feed in exactly their value proposition, company scraped websites, their website. Since now you're working with them, you understand their offer. It's right. You've hopped on a call with them. You're start, you're already delivered. They shared with you during the onboarding exactly who they like to work with, their target ICP, etc., etc. Well, you can just feed that then into like a knowledge base and then or like just like a simple system in make or like NA10 that has this entire knowledge base. And then you essentially just train it based of how you handle replies right? Because you are the one that already got them a client. So you can use the same thing for them. And it's usually you just have to connect a couple modules and notes and, and boom, you can upsell to 5k. Uh, you can also sell automation that do stuff after someone replies. For example, if someone says yes, and okay, to their offer, well, it books the call automatically easy, you can use this, uh, you can build this using Calendly's API or like cal.com's API. Again, it's not that complicated. But this is very, very high value, you can price it all the way to 10k a month. Uh, you can also build custom workflows for their specific business. So for example, when someone replies, it adds them to their CRM, notifies their sales team and sends a follow up. Again, it's very, very high ticket. You can also sell a Slack integration that sends them a notification upon a new reply. For example, hey, you've got a new lead. It's a tiny thing, might not seem huge, but it feels magical for them. Yeah, keep in mind that businesses, like they don't know about this sort of stuff that we do. So I guess the main idea here is that they're already happy with you. So you made them money. Now they'll gladly pay for anything that saves them time and makes things smoother. Okay. So now let me walk you guys through step by step how I actually do this inside my agency. Okay. So this is the step by step process, how I build out accounts. Okay. Accounts, basically what I mean by it is each client has an account and each client has a different account manager that they handle. So month one, is I prove the core system, which is exactly what I recommend you guys do. Let's just get you results first, fast. So what I want you guys to do, and my recommendation for you guys is always focus on delivering the money outcome, focus on 100% delivering, like, knock it out of the park. And then now, obviously, they will start depending on you since you have the keys to the castle, because you're controlling their pipeline. And since you're controlling the pipeline, well, now we're controlling their bottom line, and their revenue. So they can make money without you. It's kind of like you're planting the seeds for other things later on, which is what we're going to talk about now. So the first upsell wave, which is around month two to three, well, you say, well, this is working, want more of it. So you show what's already working, and you offer to amplify it, okay, with simple add ons. So my recommendation, again, is keep price low, 50 to 75% of your main offer. For example, if your core service like mine is 8k a month, you want to upsell for like four to 6k a month. So let's say you sold it at like 3k a month, or like 2k a month, you can basically go for like $900 or like 1.5k. Okay. And by the way, always make sure it's a non round number, for example, 1789 or 69, just so it doesn't seem like you just pull it out of your mind. And then we have month three to six, which is the integration wave. So let's automate this machine, add AI replies, CRM sync, auto booking, etc. And you can also build fully custom setups based on what they actually need. So now you're a strategist, not just a builder. Okay, so what they actually need, you're deep into their business. So you want to price higher when it comes to this. So 100 to 150% of your core offer, which is essentially like 8 to 12k a month. And then we have month seven. And this is how I deal with clients that I'm working with right now. Some of them are actually clients that I worked with for like a year now. And then I upsell them to the premium wave. So you're big now. Okay, let's go enterprise. So I offer strategy, forecasting, team training, and I charge premium, basically like 2x my base, like 16k all the way to like 25, 30k. And this is basically the strategy session that I do, which is basically the amount was 37k. So it was 22% of my actual revenue. And this is exactly how you guys can build an offer and upsell it with AI and automation. My recommendation is never, never, ever 
try to sell these offers that don't make any money, such as these AI proposal generators, all these generic AI automation that you see all the gurus on the internet, on YouTube talk about, because I've done this thing, okay? Like I understand, you wanna sell that thing, but you just need to understand and think past level one. And let me just give you guys the cold hard truth. Like the average AI and automation agency in 2025 makes about three to five K a month. And I'm glad I caught this early on because early on in my career, I was selling, you know, these AI proposal generators, all this, you know, generic stuff. And then I noticed like, why am I not making the same amount of money that most people are saying they're making? Like, why? Like, it's not like I'm bad at selling. It's not like I'm bad at building. Like, why I am stuck at like 1K and most people are making 20, 70K, 100K. Like, how are they able to do this? Am I doing something wrong? But it turns out that most of them are like just full of shit. Okay. So I looked at it and I was like, okay, let's look at the things that I uh, sold repeatedly, routinely. And it was, you know, it turns out it's sell systems. Okay, so I went ahead and just doubled down on it. Okay, how can I get better at this? How can I get better at building sales systems and selling them? So I got better at them. So I started pricing accordingly, pricing higher. And then this is how I dominated the sales system agency space. And I came up with the sales system agency model. Okay, which is basically niching down, still AI and automation niche, but a niche down on the systems that actually make businesses the most money that actually gets them clients because this is ultimately what they care about okay but at the same time i was like okay since now i can i know like i can sell these sell systems okay and i know this is my core offer and it works okay and i'm good at it well how can i upsell to other integrations and then i was like okay well i'm pretty good at automation i'm not the best but i'm pretty good i can build some crazy stuff so this is just me being humble <laughs> but uh yeah like I can build this stuff. So let me just upsell it later on. But, uh, but at the same time, I'll keep my core offer the same. Okay. Now, my advice to you guys, okay, is this is basically like a TLDR. Don't try to sell everything up front, which is a big mistake that I used to make. Get in the door with something that clearly makes them money, then expand once you've proven value. So the core offer opens the door, the upsells build the mansion. So once you do that, you can just offer add-ons, like I said. Since the core system solved their insomnia problem, which is predictable revenue, clients, etc., leads, intros. Now it's sometimes easier to sell than nice to have improvements, obviously. So the client thinks, okay, the system already transformed my business. I'm already making tons of money. Okay, I'm already talking to these decision makers. Now, if they say this upgrade will make it even better, well, of course, I'm going to trust them because there's trust involved. And this is how you guys can go from the 8K all the way to like 25K per client, okay? Not by selling everything upfront, but by proving value first, then expanding systematically. So there we go. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.